a very good evening to all the NEET PG 2024 aspirants. Uh, as you can see it on your screen, this is all the video is all about the registration process uh, to apply for NEET PG exam and submit the application form online on NB website. So once you're on NB website, you have to click on application link and you'll find the page which is right in front of your screen where you have uh, options of information bulletin image upload instructions and to register okay and there's also a user manual page so to begin with you need to first click here for registrations okay it will take you to a new window where you can where you'll be asked whether you are an agent or you are an applicant you have to just click i am an applicant and submit it okay then there will be a page of instructions okay and it will say that what uh, chrome extensions uh, browser you have to use okay and field mark with red stars are compulsory to be printed kindly note whatever th whatever mobile number and email addresses you are using are active throughout the year at least until till, until the end of the counseling process okay and also they have instructed that before registering you just uh, delete your history okay of the browser which is not compulsory i did not find any problem so moving ahead you have to just read these instructions very carefully and close it and then what is the main purpose details they are they are asking what is the purpose of the details they are asking is uh, mentioned okay so for the purpose of ap appearing in the examination uh, or to avail any services related to this examination okay uh, for uh, it may be for nationality country of nationality alternate mobile number suppose uh, uh, you you misplace your or, or you uh, misplace your primary mobile number or uh, you uh, disconnect or uh, or the mobile is off sometime okay so they will ask you for these details okay now what are the personal details they are asking at the time of registration i am strictly speaking at the time of registration it is applicant name date of birth mobile number email address gender nationality uh, they will also uh, th these are the details they will ask me at the time of registration okay so you need to just uh, agree okay and then you start for the registration now this is your registration page candidate name so kindly put in your name do not add prefix like dr shrimati shri okay and then you go to date of birth okay so uh, suppose you are a 2000 born student so you click on here okay and then you can easily forward 2000 and select your month suppose it's january and then the date is 10 then the date comes okay then you fill up your uh, gender details nationality okay if you are a non-resident indian overseas citizen of india or non-oca foreign citizen you can mention that and you kindly note the email address and the mobile number what you're putting are at least at least the active till month of uh, december okay so kindly put your email address uh, because all the details will be communicated through the email address okay and email will be the primary mode of communication so kindly put that email address where you are uh, like you're very frequently using the email uh, at least once a day okay and put your mobile number alternate mobile number then you can generate the otp you'll receive an otp on the email address and the mobile number then you have to click on i agree and submit this captcha it will directly take you to the page uh, which uh, gives you uh, <coughs> which gives you the registration and id okay and then you can definitely go ahead kindly make sure uh, that everything is properly uh, uh, submitted okay once you're submitted with that thing, then you can go up to application form. Now you have to click on application form, register users, click on already registered. Okay. Go to this window. I'll show you. Okay. Already registered. Then click here. It will ask your login ID and password, which is being emailed to you. Okay. So 
you have to fill register already registered to login to access the application form with the user id and received on your email and the mobile number okay after receiving the uh, application uh, id and the password that is user id and the password you can click on go to application form it will be in the top right corner of the web page okay once you go to the application form button okay you, they will ask you personal details qualification details and they will ask you to upload the documents and the test center okay before submitting kindly note that before submitting the application okay before submitting the application kindly make sure the name of the candidate is absolutely correct date of birth is correct gender is correct nationality mobile number and email address is absolutely correct these cannot be edited okay these cannot be edited even if the window edit window opens on 10th of may these things cannot be edited so kindly make sure before submission you can edit the information in application from any number of times okay okay so once you submit these they will ask you to please um, they will ask you to uh, upload uh, you they will ask you the desired test center okay so here name of the candidate nationality email address test city and mobile number okay these things cannot be edited i will say once again okay now in personal details uh, if, you, if you 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 have filled your name okay date of birth gender nationality mobile number email address which will be automatically processed which you had given at the time of filling up the registration okay and father's name mother's name is to be filled okay now if any candidates want to apply for armed force medical category services they can choose that while filling up the application form okay selecting the category okay please make sure what category you are selecting if you are general and in under general if you are ews kindly select if you want to avail that uh, benefits okay so kindly clearly mention your category general sc st obc okay and if you are with uh, disability person with a disability kindly go through the brochure okay and you can select yes or no however it is okay if you find yourself eligible for person with benchmark disability okay now identification details keep details of all the following government issued photo id that for uh, the, uh, that i issued it may be voter id passport pan card and driving license okay so you have to keep a voter id pan card or driving license suppose if you do not have a passport suppose you have all the four documents keep it indian rni students will be asked to provide passport voter id driving license and pan card whichever had been issued by government okay only if any of these ids has not been issued select no okay suppose you don't have a passport you can select no okay enter your communication address which will be used for future communication allotting the test center okay so make sure the address is in line with whatever test center you choose okay now qualification details they will ask the mbbs qualification details they will ask your 10th and 12th okay country of completion of mbbs qualification okay name of the country the state the city name of the college and the institute okay they will also ask month and year of passing internship details okay medical council registration details that is state medical council registration details mbbs marks to be provided up to two decimal places without any rounding off it is essential to provide the correct and factual information as mbbs mark might be used to break a tie of merit so please please calculate your marks very carefully suppose in case there is a tie on the merit number your mbbs marks will be used to break that tie okay so kindly clear we specify what marks you have okay what is the total percentage you have okay without rounding it off what happens sometimes it is 59.97 so we write it 60 no okay make it 59.97 only okay 
now test center details and documents to be uploaded okay now please uh, make sure that you go on this page which you will find over here that is image upload instruction page okay we have opened it already here kindly go through this page very carefully very very sincerely okay and uh, they have made it very easy so that you can understand uh, how the photos are to be uploaded what are the sizes okay so he, they have shown it in pictures itself okay so uh, draw a box of 3.5 centimeters into 1.5 centimeters width into uh, height okay and then you can uh, paste your uh, like not paste in fact put your impression in that box only okay so here you can see the pictures okay uh, the picture shouldn't be cropped okay it should be full okay and it should be looking towards the camera and no black and white photographs are allowed only uh, for color photographs with white background okay and the flash should be proper the, your face should be clearly visible okay and uh, do not take uh, photos from your mobile okay uh, try to go to uh, a photo studio and click a picture with a white background okay with a clear your face should be clearly visible okay and uh, make sure that the flash doesn't comes on your eyes especially the students or the doctors who are wearing specs okay it should be very clear your eyes should be very visible uh, even through the glasses okay and you can see the signature box you cannot uh, you you have to properly fill up that box of signature okay and kindly make sure uh, the signatures uh, are not only uh, <coughs> initials no it has to be like this <coughs> excuse me uh, signatures in capitals are not allowed and signature size should be properly in the box it should be clear basically <coughs> excuse me so kindly go through this page also read the information brochure before registering before the start of registration okay now what in edit window cannot be edited uh, edited has been already clearly communicated you cannot edit the name you cannot edit the test city you cannot edit the mobile number in the email address well you submit it at that time of registration now there are candidates whose uh, uh, state medical council uh, registrations are expiring or there might be candidates who uh, who are yet to uh, register themselves with state medical council so kindly do it as early as possible okay and secondly uh, the candidates whose registration is expiring state medical registration kindly take a note of the date what date it is expiring and if you are registering uh, within that date within the time of expiration before the time of expiration you can already you can always put that okay so no need to worry kindly do not forget to uh, take a print out of application form okay and the payment to the payment to be made is only via net banking credit card or debit card okay there is no uh, google pay phone pay like uh, okay it is only through credit card <coughs> net banking or uh, credit card debit card that is uh, card payment okay test city will be only confirmed after successful payment of the fees city selection is a dynamic process and will be confirmed only after successful payment so i hope uh, this video was some kind of a help to you uh, we are also uploading in the description uh, a link where you can again find out the clear procedure uh, which is a word document uh, we are uh, mentioning it in the link of the word document uh, in the description so that it gives you step by step clearance i'll try to show you that also yeah need pg 2024 application okay these are about the dates now how to apply for need pg there are the steps okay need pg online registration filling up the need pg application form choosing the need pg examination center uploading the scan documents need pg application fee payment fee print out of so if you uh, we will be definitely posting this uh, 
or we'll try to post the complete uh, description which will help you uh, in going through uh, the process of making an application and uh, i hope this video was uh, useful to you thank you for watching and taking out time god bless you all uh, i hope you have liked this video kindly like and uh, subscribe for our channel thank you